Hello students. In this video, we are going to discuss an another group in the S block elements that is group second elements. These elements are called as alkaline earth metals. In this video, we are going to discuss the introduction part of alkaline earth metals. Group two elements are beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium, and radium. They follow the alkali metals in the periodic table. That means uh, after the first group, uh, the second group elements are there in the periodic table. From these elements, uh, except beryllium, these are also known as alkaline earth metals. Because the first member of this group, beryllium, it shows differs, it shows differences from its own group members because of the diagonal relationship to aluminium so because of this uh, beryllium shows similarity to the aluminium so we'll be going to discuss about the the general properties and the physical properties of these elements it is necessary to remember the sequence uh, that is from top to bottom you have to learn the sequence first element beryllium then magnesium calcium strontium barium radium it is important to learn the symbols as well as the name of these elements first let us discuss the electronic configuration for these elements these elements because being the last electron in s orbital that is in the valence shell therefore these belong to s block so let us make the electronic configuration for these elements. When we look at the electronic configuration for these, we can find it out that uh, there is a similar pattern of electronic configuration. That is the last electron is in the S orbit. That is here in the case of beryllium 2s2, in magnesium 3s2, calcium 4s2, strontium 5s2 and so on. So, the general electronic configuration we can write for these uh, elements as ns2 where n is the principal quantum number and the value of n gives its uh, period in the periodic table. For example, beryllium, the last electron is in 2s, therefore n is equal to 2 that means uh, it belongs to the period second. So, in this way, we can find it out the period of that particular element in the periodic table. Now, let us discuss the ionization enthalpy for these elements. They usually have low ionization enthalpy because of being larger size. They have low ionization enthalpy. But when we compare the ionization enthalpy with the first group element, they have higher ionization enthalpy because uh, when we compare the elements in the same period like after sodium only magnesium will be there so we know that uh, left to right uh, in the periodic table within a respective period uh, the size is decreasing so when the size is decreasing uh, the ionization enthalpy increases so when you compare the size of sodium and magnesium Magnesium have lower size, that is smaller size. Therefore, magnesium have greater ionization enthalpy in compared to its own period alkali metals. So, in general, we can say that they have low ionization enthalpy, but they have a larger ionization enthalpy from the alkali metal with the same within the same period. But the ionization enthalpy decreases down the group because uh, when we compare the ionization enthalpy of uh, these elements top to bottom, its value decreases. Because the size is increasing, as the size is increasing, therefore the ionization enthalpy, it decreases. Because the relation of size and ionization enthalpy, we have already discussed uh, that greater the size lesser will be the ionization enthalpy. So, top to bottom the ionization enthalpy decreases down but 
the ionization enthalpy generally they have low because of being larger size but the first ionization enthalpy of alkali metals when we compare with alkaline earth metals alkaline earth metals have greater ionization enthalpy but the second ionization enthalpy of alkali metals is greater than the alkaline met earth metals it is one of the most important question why the first ionization enthalpy of alkali metals is lower than the alkaline earth metal but the second ionization enthalpy of alkaline metals are greater than the alkaline earth metals so this can be better explained by making a picture in this way that is in this when you compare here alkali metals and alkaline earth metal we know that in alkali metal there is only a single electron in the valence shell that it is represented here single valence electron is there but in the case of alkaline earth metal there are two electrons in the outermost shell so in order to stabilize alkali metal has to remove only one electron it need to lose only one electron in order to stabilize so after losing of a single electron now the alkali metal get stable but in the case of alkaline earth metal it has to lose two electron then only it get stable so after losing the first electron what happens here now this alkali metal like will take the case of sodium after losing of a single electron it develop a positive charge now it is stable but uh, magnesium after losing a single electron now still it is unstable still it is unstable because in order to get stabilized it has to lose one more electron so it will lose one more electron and it form magnesium to positive charged ion so that means um, after the losing of first electron it has to lose one more electron to get stabilized so that means uh, in order to get stabilized uh, that takes place very easily but the lead sodium now it is already stable after losing of single electron now it is stable so if it is uh, losing one more electron and form two positive charge that means the stable is converted into unstable it requires a high energy because a stable one will not easily loses the electron so that is the reason that in order to lose the second electron that means the stable one will not loses the electron easily so the stable na plus will not loses the electron easily because of this we can say that it does not form two positive charge so only it can form two positive charge when we apply a high energy so it is very important to note here the sodium because of being stable after giving a single electron but it will not lose the further electron because it is now already stable as we have learned that the enthalpy change or the energy required to lose the electron from the stable one is much greater because stability is directly proportional to the ionization enthalpy so here in this case the second ionization enthalpy is high for the case of alkali metals and why the alkaline earth metals have first ionization enthalpy greater because of the size because when you compare the size of alkali metals and alkaline earth metal within the same period we can say that alkaline earth metals are smaller in size it is smaller in size therefore ionization enthalpy is greater so two reasons you have to learn here for the first statement what is the reason here because alkaline earth metal size is smaller in compared to alkali metals therefore they have high ionization enthalpy and what will be the reason for the second statement that is the second ionization enthalpy of alkali metals greater than the alkaline metals alkaline earth metals the reason is because 
alkali metals get stable by losing a single electron that can be easily seen here alkali metals loses a single electron and it gets stable but alkaline earth metals has to lose two electron in order to get stable that's why alkaline earth metal easily form two positive charged ion by losing the two electrons but the alkali metals will not form two positive charge easily because they get stable only by losing a single electron so this is very important question eh? and usually asked reasoning question also next we are going to discuss about the hydration enthalpy like alkali metal ions hydration enthalpies of alkaline earth metals ions decreases with the increasing in ionic size down the group that means top to bottom the ionic size is increasing as we know that in each member one extra shell get added that means the ionic size is increases down the group and the hydration enthalpy decreases with the increasing ionic size so that means when we compare the ionic size it is maximum for the barium ion that means it have the least hydration enthalpy that you can remember here hydration enthalpy and ionic size what is the relation it have a inverse relation that means ionic size is greater hydration enthalpy will be lower so top to bottom ionic size is increasing that means hydration enthalpy decreases the hydration enthalpies of alkaline earth metal ions are larger than those of alkali metal ions so when you compare with the alkali metal alkaline earth metals have larger hydration enthalpy next we are going to talk about the physical properties of alkaline earth metals silvery white and lustrous usually they are silvery white and lustrous but beryllium and magnesium appear to somewhat grayish in color usually they are silvery white and lustrous because of the metallic character but beryllium and magnesium is somewhat grayish in color as you can see in this image itself it is somewhat grayish in color otherwise they are white we can see silvery white lustrous and they are relatively a soft but harder than the alkali metals when we compare the softness alkali metals are more soft that's why the, we can easily cut with the help of knife which one alkali metals example sodium potassium these can be easily cut with the help of knife but in compared to the alkaline met alkali metals alkaline earth metals are little bit harder so usually they are softer but harder than the alkali metals the next point is they are electropositive in nature because they easily loses the electron to get stable that's why they form positive charge like magnesium develops two positive charge calcium two positive strontium two positive so they are electro positive in nature these all are metals so therefore they have a metallic character they show all the metallic character which are familiar to you next is the characteristic flame coloration just as we have learned for the alkali metals alkaline earth metals also show characteristic flame coloration that means when we apply these to the flame it show particular color like calcium shows a coloration that is a brick red color strontium with the flame it gives a crimson red color and barium gives apple green color so that means when these or these metals or its salts when we are applied to the flame it gives a characteristic that means a particular coloration we can found in the flame so that is a, a very important identification test for identifying these elements 
present in the salt that is by flame test so we will be doing this flame test in the laboratory when we are doing the salt analysis so at that time it will be more clear to you that a white they shows a differences because there is a differences in the flame coloration so it is the identification test for these metal ions and also the reason we have to learn for this one why it gives a characteristic flame coloration that we have already discussed in the case of alkaline alkali metals that is the excitation of electron excitation of electron by absorbing energy when it come back to the ground state it emits the radiation in the visible region that's why it gives a coloration so it is also one of the important point in this next the melting point and boiling point are higher than the alkali metals so when we compare the melting point and boiling point of these metals it is seen to be higher than the corresponding alkali metals that is due to the smaller size so in this video we have discussed the different physical properties so you better you can note down these physical properties in your notebook so this is all about this video have a nice day